Hello, welcome back to Maneater. So, I've been doing a little bit of uh, grinding the uh, for the next hunter off screen. Got us to nearly full infamy, as you can see in the bottom left there. So, we'll probably take that guy on in this episode. But while I was doing that, I came across the coolest and most terrifying thing I have ever seen in this game. Or we've seen yet. It's right over here. Somewhere. Hold on. There. It's a freaking sperm whale. Oh, I don't know if I can take that. Oh my gosh. It's freaking huge. Okay, yeah, we can take it. I wasn't sure. Oh, we are destroying this guy. Yeah, he's gone. Oh, man. Well, that was cool. That was really cool. Okay, so we're done with that area. All we have left is Crawfish Bay and the Gulf. Oh, there's an orca. Gotcha. Oh, come on. Get over here. Oh. I'll tail whip you right back. I hate how his tail whip... Oh, wow. I hate how his tail whip will throw me back, but mine won't do anything to him except just cause a little damage. Look at that. It doesn't do anything. Okay, you're going down, Orca. Gotcha. Get over here. Yeah, take that. Okay, well, let's start with some missions. Uh. Guess we'll do this one. First off, eat people. Sounds like a great mission. As well, we'll collect whatever collectibles we find along the way. Like that. Oh. Oh, I was going to say, what am I seeing? It's just the anchor of a ship. Yeah, these people shouldn't have been under the water. They're clearly down here for a reason. I mean, they're armed. I think, I think I'm justified. Where's the last one? There he is. We've had some real bad fish skills because of these oil tankers spinning. But it brings a lot of money into the economy. Can't argue with that. Ah, I love all these collectibles. The shark uses lipids from high fat fare like this to help fuel her reign of terror. Uh, what do we got here? This, uh... this has long been a popular dumping ground for the military, thanks to its lenient regulations and low ticking fees. <laughs> huh. There's a tank. A couple tanks. An airplane. Interesting. Uh, let's see. What's the next mission? Take out some hammerheads. Uh, oh, they're way over there. Is this other mission closer? Oh, there's a bunch of stuff to do on the way. Hold on. What's this one? This one's also over there. Okay, I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna cruise the coastline hitting everything. Figure that'll be more... That'll be more reasonable. Get things done faster. Got a lot more efficiency with it. Well, shark wins this round. 
Okay. Will that albino turtle disappear on me? Every albino creature I see before I go into a place seems to disappear. Maybe he didn't. I swear that's happened to me like half a dozen times now. I go into a place and there's an albino there and then he disappears. Gutsy divers. I heard said Captain Blatty sunk his treasure somewhere around Hiding in a cave. Been funding a diving expedition every year for ten years, and I ain't found it yet. the box. Look at that. The solitary hunter stumbles upon another source of nourishment. Okay, what else is over here? Man, these hunters are persistent. Still up there. I'm surprised that that, uh, that Hammerhead and Hunter would both be occupying this cave without uh, any conflict. I mean, realistically, it just doesn't make any sense. down here. And uh, we had something over here. Okay, this just might be another entrance to the same cave. I'm sure the shark's dead. With little fanfare, another bounty hunt. Okay, just had to be sure. I don't think that goes anywhere. Let's see what's over here. Do do gotta love these turtles. Everything just seems so much easier, you know, with a maxed out shark. It's kind of crazy. I know that collecting all this stuff is kind of boring to watch, but I really don't want to backtrack and find it all, so I'd rather just... What is this? I'd rather just collect it all while I'm here rather than come back. Oh, is this another Lovecraft reference? Nope, no kaiju reference. Ah. <laughs> okay, yeah. That's uh that's another more or less Cthulhu reference. It's got the same uh tentacle faced thing on the front of it. Very nice. Okay, we got everything here. Let's uh head back this way. A little weird that I haven't seen 
any large creatures like out here at all. I think there'd be more uh, whales and well, whales primarily out here, but there's not. Okay, next one's over here. Oh, what is this? Is it underwater habitat? No one knows who built this mysterious underwater base, but odds are they probably own a Nehru jacket and a Persian cat. Is this a Bond reference? Nehru jacket and a Persian cat. I'm assuming, or like, like sort of a classic Bond ripoff supervillain reference, you know, like, like Doctor Evil was. You know, bad guy has a cat. Bad guy has a secret underground lair, or something. That's not underground, underwater lair, or something that's just as equally absurd, like being in a volcano. <laughs> kind of seems like that. I don't. I haven't really watched all the old Bond movies. I really don't know who the bad guys are. But that's what it reminds me of. And I know that pretty much everything spy-related is sort of, at least nowadays, is sort of based on classic Bond. <laughs> I don't know. See, I would think with these guys right here, that maybe they're coming to this underappreciated underwater museum, but they've got weapons. You don't go to a muse museum with weapons. So I guess they're not here to appreciate the uh, architecture. Okay, one left. There's a whale. It's been a while. Um, there you go. I had to get rid of that guy. He was really into scuba back when he was a teenager. This museum's the first place I took him after when he got certified. It's actually a really cool idea. Like a scuba museum. Is that a real thing? I mean, I know that sounds ridiculous, but I mean... We're getting space tourism sometime within my lifetime, so it's like... I think a scuba museum is pretty reasonable compared to space tourism. A lot cheaper, at least. I don't know. I like the idea. I think it's kind of cool. Okay, where'd that whale go? Let's hunt him down. That's a good, uh... a good fight there, if I can find it. Did it despawn? It's just not here now. The hunt is over, and there will be an inevitable rush on dollar drafts at Flamingo Joe's. Weird. I don't know where that whale went. Okay. Well, there's an orca. I'm not so interested in fighting the orca now, considering I've already defeated. I don't know, half a dozen. Maybe more, as well as the last, I was going to say fish boss, aquatic boss, like creature boss, being the uh, Apex Orca. Prosperity Sands reminds us that sometimes the construction of second and third homes supersedes considerations like loss of species diversity. <laughs> yeah, hey, UFO. Even the self-driving technology of Gazorpazor. Is not without its reliability concerns. Well, I'm glad there wasn't too much of a reference on that. I feel like that's such a massive thing when it comes to uh, 
ocean. the oceans. It's always like, oh, UFOs. And it's kind of a tired trope, in my opinion. I mean, it was a conspiracy theory as well, but it's it's just it feels well overused. So, kind of nice to only see one of those in this. Man, this is just a massacre. These guys are all just hanging out, and I'm just eating all of them. That would just be horrifying. <laughs> oh, so consistent. Hey, there's another whale. Okay, we're going to take him on after we finish these hammerheads. The insatiable sperm whale needs to eat over a ton of food every day, which here in the Gulf mostly consists of hammerhead sharks. Interesting. Where'd he just go? Where'd he just go? Are you kidding? He's gone again? Eh, okay, the whale must be a really rare sort of thing, like a rare spawn or something, because he's just here and gone in less than 10 seconds. Just ah, kind of annoying. Where's the next one? Oh, we got a mission right here. Oh, this is going to be taking a boat. Okay, well, I guess we can do the hunter fight here. We may as well. Because I know once I sink this boat, it'll likely bring in the next hunter boss. Oh. Wow. They're already on fire. 24 karat gold fixtures, two discos, circular staircases, and a mosaic swimming pool, the Chatelaine is still only Port Clovis's second most ostentatious yacht. Is that the one I just sank? That's, uh, that's unfortunate that all that was just lost, but I don't know. It feels kind of uh, arrogant to take something to make something so frivolous and fancy and put so much money into it when it's so easily lost in the ocean, you know? Hey, there's a sperm whale. Attacking at the wrong time, whale. And of course, he's just going for me. Be nice if you tried to sink some of these uh, boats. I'd be terrified of a shark the beast of the fleet. that... Captain Robert Brunt. Oh, oh, he's throwing explosives. I'd be terrified of a shark that could take on a sperm whale. I mean... Again, okay, I thought, I thought he disappeared. I'm like, where did the whale go? I mean, like... Like, comparable sharks that could take a sperm whale would be like... A megalodon, you know? It's like, what, what kind of person sees that and thinks, Yeah, I'm gonna be the person that takes that down. Like, like realistically... Oh, there's a white sperm whale. Dang it, now we're going to have to go for that. Okay, we're going to take this guy out first. Hopefully that one stays here. Uh, it's gone already, isn't it? Yep, it's gone already. Dang it! Ah, I was looking forward to that. That would have been cool. Okay. Let's go take this guy out. Uh, I'll take... Oh, can I not grab his bomb? There we go. Boom! <laughs> take that. Okay, hold on. I need to grab... I need to grab these other bombs that are in the middle of his cheap little force field. 
No, no, can I redirect this? Oh, oh, oh. Come on. Okay, well, we're just throwing it right at the ship. Man, I'm getting hammered. Holy crap. Target. There we go. That's what I wanted. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Can you imagine getting pelted by an oxygen tank that's rigged to explode? <laughs> that would that would actually really suck. I mean, those things are like 60, 70 pounds. I can't imagine if it's, you know, any lighter when it's rigged to explode. It's probably heavier. I mean, at least the oxygen tanks these guys are throwing. These aren't... These aren't little ones strapped to your back. These things are like massive explosives. Like industrial grade, you know? Get hit by one of those. It's, it's just gotta hurt. Okay, where's the hunter? Is he on this boat? He's not on this boat, is he? Can I just... Man, these guys do so much damage. He's on this boat. Actually, I have no idea now. Come on, can I not? Now I got orcas getting involved. Man, these people got all the help in the world. Nature's literally coming to save these people who are destroying it. I'm on your side, Orca. <laughs> At least to the extent that I don't eat you. Ugh. They're really making this hard. They really do make this difficult. Come on, Seal. Take this, Orca. Come on. No, no, I need to get back up to the surface to take on the hunter. <sighs> you freaking fish. Make me. It's not a fish. You freaking whale. Making this difficult. Ugh. Oh, they're gone now. That's never happened before. Oh, we got more missions. Lovely. This episode's running or running out of time already, I guess. Um, okay, we'll call it there for now. Uh, I may go. Actually, yeah, I'm gonna go change my shark. Hold on. Let's get rid of sonar. Let's go with hardy. Let's get rid of digestion. Go with the adrenal gland. And I guess we'll do amphibious. Well, hold on. Maybe we want to do the protein one because people are mostly proteins and that would heal us a lot. Let's try that. I'll switch out. Once I beat the hunter, I'll switch out of the armor. Just because I know the armor will actually make a bigger difference in fighting the hunters than anything else will. Okay, well, we'll take on the hunter in the next episode. It'll be the first thing we do. So if you like what you saw, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.